Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at the Azure Active Directory cheat sheet. This one's three pages long, so get ready for it, and let's jump into it. So Active Directory, just Active Directory alone, uh, which is AD, is Microsoft's Identity and Access Management Service, helps your employees sign in and access resources. Then you have Azure AD, and this is the same thing, except it's the cloud-based version. Uh, and one term that you'll hear a lot with this is identity as a service, which just means that it's like the serverless or hosted version of this, so you don't have to think about it or manage servers. Azure Active Directory comes into four editions. You got the free one, the Office 365 apps, Premium 1, which is also known as P1, Premium 2, which is P2. It's good to know the differences uh, between uh, what features you have here. So you should know all the details in between here. So I highlighted conditional access because that's an important one on the exam to know. Azure AD can authorize and authenticate to multiple sources. So if you're doing on-prem, you're gonna be using Azure AD Connect. If it's for a web app, you're using app registers, registration, sorry. If you're using Facebook or Google, you're using external identities. If you're, uh, uh, you can also connect to Office 65 or Azure uh, Microsoft, okay? For Active Directory terminologies, uh, when we're talking about a domain, a domain is an area of network organized by a single authentication database. An Active Directory domain is a logical grouping of AD objects on a network. Then you have domain controller, commonly abbreviated as DC. Domain controller is a server that authenticates user identities and authorizes their access to resources. If you have a domain computer, a computer that is registered with a central authentication database, a domain computer would be an AD object. Then you have AD objects. That just is the base element of Active Directory uh, things like users, groups, printers, etc. You have uh, a GPO. This is a virtual collection of policy settings. Uh, then you have organizational units. This is a subdivision of your AD, which you can place users, groups, computers, etc. in. You have directory service, uh, such as Active Directory Domain Service, ADDS, which provides a method of storing uh, directory data and making the data available to network users. A directory service can run on a domain controller. That's only page one. We're on to page two. So a tenant represents an organization. A tenant is dedicated uh, uh, is a dedicated Azure AD service instance. A tenant is automatically created when you first sign up either with Microsoft Azure Intune or 365. Each AD tenant is distinct and separate from other uh, tenants. When you perform a lift and shift to, uh, uh, of AD to Azure, not all the features are supported. And in that case, you're going to be using ADDS. So ADDS provides managed domain services such as domain joins, group policies, lightweight directory access, uh, and uh, I never can say that word, so I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> uh, Azure AD Connect has the following features. It has password hash synchronization, pass-through authentication, federation integration, synchronization, health monitoring. You've got the concept of users, so that's an AD object, remember? So an identity of a person or employee in your domain, a user has login credentials and can use them to log into the Azure portal. Azure AD has two kinds of users. We got a user that belongs to your organization and guest users, a user that belongs to a different organization. Groups let uh, resource owners assign a set of access permissions to all the members of the group instead of having to provide the rights one by one. And the group contains owners and it contains members. Just a moment here. There we go. Just want to make sure I'm recording the video so I don't end up finding halfway. I didn't do it. Uh, so we got assignments. So you can assign roles directly to a group and you can assign applications directly to a group. We're on to the last um, slide here in the cheat sheet. Told you this one was long. Request to join groups. The group owner can let users find their own, uh, their own group to join instead of assigning them. The owner can also set up um, uh, set the group uh, to automatically accept all the users or join to require approval. There are four ways to assign resource access rights to your users. Direct assignment, group assignment, rule-based assignment, external uh, authority assignment. Know all four of these, please. Um, and so, yeah, there we go. We're at the end here, and that's all there is.